everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to I don't want to say backtrack but supplement maybe is a better word I'm going to supplement my video on pencil sharpeners I'm going to add another pencil sharpener to my list of sharpeners that are great for colored pencils and in my opinion, this one might actually replace <laughs> all the ones that I loved before. So before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell if you want to be notified every time I post. And then if you end up finding this helpful, make sure you hit the like button. That way it lets me know if you enjoyed the content, but also helps others find the content when they're searching for you know, things like sharpeners for colored pencils. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I had posted a video about sharpeners for colored pencils. And my most recommended one was the Tagal, which I still love because it seems to chew up the least amount of wood, which is great on expensive pencils, but it has a very narrow hole um, I have noticed like my whole binds won't fit in here very well without being really smushed in there and it leaves a ring. And I had also mentioned in my video how the Tagal doesn't work for every single pencil. Uh, like my Black Widows would break in this so I had to use an electric sharpener for those ones. Well, I found a sharpener that has worked for every single brand of pencil I own and has not broken a single one. <laughs> So I'm super happy. I still love this one because it uses so little wood. So if you have an expensive pencil and it'll fit in here, I still recommend this. But this one, the Doll 133, it is an old school hand crank sharpener, which I don't know why I never even thought of a hand crank until now, but it is awesome. It has a little button here you push which allows you to stick the pencil in and then it locks around it and then it has a little reservoir for your shavings which mine is full because I just sharpened all my light fast pencils that just came today on the back it has this little dial and it's very sensitive by the way but the more to the left is the sharper the more to the right is kind of a blunt tip I did a little bit in between, so it's kind of, it's just slightly blunt. Let me see if I have a pencil I can show you. So you pull it out while holding the button, stick your pencil in, let go, and sharpen until you stop hearing the grinding. This could take a minute because this is a fresh pencil. We need a little bit more on this one. But see how you hear that noise? It's not grinding anymore. That means it's done. And this one doesn't have to go all the way in to be done either. So you push the pencil to pop it out. And there you go. This is by far, let me make sure that's on camera, my favorite point. So it's just very slightly blunt at the edge. But I've noticed that keeps it from breaking a lot more. And like I said, I've sharpened everything in this. Everything from my Black Widows that would fall apart in this to my Artezas that break sometimes. I mean, every single pencil I've tried in this, I have not had a core snap off. It's smooth. It has handled every single type of wood from the cheap budget brands to very expensive ones. Because it adjusts with this button, you can fit quite, you know, a hefty pencil in there. And then, like I said, you can adjust this, but it doesn't sharpen past the point of sharpening. So, like, once it hits this point, it stops. So you're not going to waste too much wood, which I love. And then the little reservoir is nice. I sharpened, this was empty when I started. And I sharpened my new Dermot Light Fast 72 count. And it filled it up pretty good. So 72 pencils. But I mean, are you sharpening 72 pencils while coloring? Probably not. <laughs> so um, that's the only reason it's full. 
but I had to hop on real fast and share this because I had just done that video a couple weeks ago about sharpeners and then not even a week later I found this one on Amazon. I don't know if you ever see the suggested products on Amazon based on your browsing history. It's the most dangerous feature of all because they always suggest things that I'm like, oh, you're right, I need to buy that. Well, this was actually on the suggested list because I was looking at sharpeners and I saw it and I thought, you know, I've never used a hand crank and I haven't tested one, I'm gonna try it. So I bought this one and I was blown away. And then what's crazy is I started seeing, or noticing, I should say, other YouTubers were already using this one. <laughs> So I was like, man, I never even noticed, like, because they would say, oh, one second, and you would hear them hand crank sharpening, and I only noticed after I bought this, so it was kind of like you you don't recognize things are around until you know they exist, and then it's everywhere. So I have now seen a ton of people using this thing, and it's been around for years. I mean, they've obviously changed the design, but I definitely recommend this, and it was just under twelve dollars it was like eleven ninety so it was well worth the price i was super excited because i got those new monarch black widow pencils and i was dreading the fact that i was going to chew them up with my battery sharpener because this one breaks them but i bought this first and i sharpened all my monarchs and then i even sharpened some of my original black widows and none of the cores broke out it made a perfect point every time so if you are looking for a sharpener that you can use at home this even can be mounted to your desk by the way it does come with a mount kit i would definitely recommend the doll 133 you'll notice when you go on amazon it has a personal professional and oh there's a third option this is named personal just make sure it says doll 133 um, and then you'll make you'll get the right one. They have a one another one. I think it's one five five that I had ordered by accident, and that was awful. That thing, um, if you put it out this much, it sharpens literally until it gets all the way back in. Oh, now we're stuck. But with this one, I hate it when it gets stuck though. But with this one, if I keep sharpening, there we go. If I keep sharpening and the pencil is sharpened all to its fine point, it'll stop here. It doesn't need to go all the way in. So that's why this one is way better. Don't get the professional one or whatever it's labeled. Get the one that's personal and just make sure it says 133. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on and share this with you guys real quick because I was super excited to find this. And now my pencils are not breaking on me, which wastes more than anything. So if you have this one, or if there's another hand crank or sharpener you think is even better, let me know. I'm always on the hunt for a sharpener that's not going to kill my pencils. So let me know in the comments, and also let me know if you use this one and your thoughts on it. But yeah, until next time guys, keep coloring!